Good morning everyone, my name is Bear Mons and welcome back to Prom Dreams. Enjoy. I guess seniority has finally kicked in, hasn't it? Holy frick. This is Victoria. But oh, how it feels Instead of letting it go I let it stay You know, they say the library in institution is dying of thanks to the internet. Uh, but I think that's just a long crap. Man, I wanna... I really want to go to a library, but I don't know where because I don't know the my town. I mean, what will happen when the robots take over? They won't. They won't. Don't worry. My God. I mean, robots won't take over unless you you program it to be. Um, history books, a large section is dedicated solely to World War II. Wow, well, what happened to World War One? I? I mean, I know Adolf Hitler. Ugh, locked again. The generators always do this. Nowhere to explore now. Huh. Man, I like exploring. I mean, if you... If you're bored right now, I mean... This chapter is solely dedicated to exploring, so you might want to uh, skip in... All my classes are upstairs this semester, but my locker is all the way down here. Seriously, it's a pain in the ass coming all the way down just to get my my books between classes. That's the girls room, I don't need to go, go in there. Oh, come on. Hey. Whoa, you have a beard. Cool. Uh, well, hey, if you... If it isn't my man, Kyle, how's it going, bro? <laughs> PewDiePie. Yes, look at that bearded face and... Long luscious hair. Oh yeah, here. Entrance. Yo. Psst. Hey, did you guys hear about James? Huh? Uh, what about him? Yeah, what about him? Spill the beans. I heard he asked Mary to the prom. Oh my god, Mary. Uh, in, in the middle of English class. What? <laughs> exactly. No way. Man, why do all the cute ones have to be taken already? I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> that idiot. That idiot. He, he still hasn't gotten the hint yet, has he? Seriously, what's a girl you gotta do to get her own boyfriend to ask her to the prom around here? Ugh. So, why doesn't she just ask him instead? Not that it, it's any of my business, but still. I know, right? I love the music. Call me weird, but I just love hanging out by the music room. It's almost like getting a free concert. Oh, I want a music room. I should have taken an art elective instead. At least Mr. Darvish is next to us. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. Honestly, I'm teaching. Honestly, am I teaching vocalists or a group of tone deaf zoo animals? Again, from the top. 
Jesus. Yes, my uh, my favorite class. Oh my gosh. Very detailed painting. Very detailed map. Portrait of a girl. Really good. I wonder who painted it. I want to do a painting for a final project. For my pa final project. But I absolutely no inspiration and no idea what to paint. Uh, the artist's li life is, is full of hardship, isn't it? I better get to class, really. I, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, Kyle, there, there you are. You're just in time for the current events discussion. I, I trust you'll try to appreciate this time. Y yes, ma'am. Now then, for uh, today's discussion, we'll be focusing on the conflict in si Syria. Ooh. Social studies come and goes. Then English in Mr. Neil. And on the way to the last period, study hall, I see Maggie st strutting, strutting around the hallway with her basketball teammates. He shoot me a grin. She shoots me a grin. <laughs> then cracks some joke about my hard head. You know what I mean. I'm sorry, I'm so childish. Um. <coughs> of course, I laugh in spite of myself. Uh, I guess she just has that effect on people. Maybe, maybe a girl who I can goof off, goof, off, goof off with, like, like that is exactly what I need right now. I mean, you'll, you never know. Oh gosh. Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna meet again? Meet now, huh? Ah, uh, man, this English paper is giving me a one hell of a headache. A headache, sorry. I mean, come on, it's Hamlet. People have been discussing it for five hundred years. What else can I possibly say about it? Yeah, well... Who's this? <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. How the hell am I supposed to talk about, talk about Ophelia for five whole pages? What? What's this? W w waiting until the last minute to do your English paper, Kyle? I guess seniority has finally kicked in, hasn't it? <laughs> Holy frick. This is Victoria. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. Um. Victoria office. Victoria office. Fine, I'll pick Victoria. Um, what? Don't, what? Jeez, don't do that. You ne nearly gave me over. <laughs> the music. <laughs> I love it. Nearly gave me a heart attack. Sorry about that. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't help them, but notice you were having a... Rough time in your assignment. You could say that, I guess. No way, I'm fine, really. You could say that, I guess. I see him. Well, in that case, maybe I could offer some advice. Uh, sure, that'd be fine. Alright then. What is your... What is it you're having trouble with, exactly? The content or just meaning? Meeting the page count. Uh, the page count mostly. I've got a, I've got the basics down. Who Ophelia was, what she did, how she died, 
but it only takes up to two pages at most. Well, at least two pages is a lot, man. What else I could possibly write about that Mr. Neil thinks will need five full pages? Ah, see? <laughs> That's your problem right there. You're, you're taking the, you're taking the assignment at face value. If you only write the basics, you'll end up with just a summary. You have, you have to go dig, <laughs> dig a little deeper into the text, read between the lines, and add your own interpretation. That's what my, that's what our English teacher always say. Always said. Always says or say, um, read between the lines. My interpretation, my interpretation is there that we haven't covered in class. You'd be surprised. Hamlet, ha Hamlet may several, may be several centuries old, but scholars are still thinking of new interpretations of um, of the text to the to this day. You could write a whole textbook on just a, just a different uh, different ways people have interpreted Ophelia in her relationship with Hamlet. Um, sorry, uh, I'm still not following. Uh, well, it is a very complex subject. Let me just put it this way. You have to write about the impression you got from the text. How it made you feel, what you think the character's motivations are. And finally, what message or more you got uh, out of the story as a leader. Reader. Oh, now I get it, I think. Yes, well, as much as I like to keep this conversation going, I'm meeting meeting another student for tutoring, tutoring in a few minutes. Perhaps we could finish it tomorrow. I've already completed my paper so I can easily help you with yours. You can well... That'd be great! Excellent, don't worry Kyle. I'll make sure that you finish it in time. How does- Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Lunch. Here it comes. Elvis or Victoria? <coughs> I bring- I bring mine so I can just eat here while we work. Oh, uh... Sure, lunch sounds fine. Alright then, I'll see you tomorrow at lunch, Kyle. Oh no... Oh, hey, wait a second. Yes, what is it? I forgot to thank you for the advice, so thanks, uh... Brooke, right? <laughs> well, there was nothing. Oh no! So, if you'll excuse me. Look, uh, okay, f okay, f okay, f okay, okay, uh, the daughter of Senator. Se Senator? Incredibly smart, one of the smartest kids in the entire school, I'd say. She even takes the time to turn to turn other kids, so <coughs> other kids aren't doing as well. Not to mention she's a, a real looker. Looker? Though that's not exactly an, an uh, unpopular opinion. Brains and beauty. She's probably got guys lined up to ask her to the prom already. But should I take my chance anyway? 
I think if I try to work any more on this paper, my brains will start to leak, to leak out of my ears. Not to mention, it's almost the end of the day. I told Randy I'd give him the names before then. Neela, Maggie, and Brooke. Not a bad pick, I must say. And I just realized I promised to meet all of them at lunch tomorrow. Damn. What did I get myself into? Oh, I thought after lunch. <coughs> but, oh my god. Um, I still not following you, Brooke. I, how is finding A and, and B going to help me find C anyway? Oh my god, I... What was that? The theory, I... Hypotenuse. Yeah, hypotenuse. How to find hypotenuse? A squared plus B squared equals C. My gosh. Oh, that's easy. You, yeah, Pentagorean theorem pala. See, I told you. All, all you have to do is square square the values of a and b and add them all up and find the square root of the result here let me show you how to do it in your calculator wow i can't believe brooke has the time to help out so many kids it kind of it's kind of admirable when you think about it brains and beauty Oh my god, Brooke is, Brooke is a waifu all the way, but no, but where am I supposed to go now?